What I like about family business consulting is, is you have to deal with all the family issues as well as the business issues. And so it creates a whole level of complexity that I find personally rewarding. I've spent my entire life in family businesses with our own family business as well as serving on boards of directors or advisors of other family businesses as well as working as a professional management consultant at Deloitte as a partner there. You learn how to deal with business issues and operational improvement programs and figuring out what's important to run in a business but you've also had to learn how to communicate and how to deal with the softer issues, the emotional side of the issues of the family business. So that makes it really challenging as a consultant and I think it really requires some additional skill sets so I really find that you know, really rewarding to work in that kind of environment. The other challenge is, if you think about it, if you have a family business and you have a family CEO and maybe a couple family executives, and it's a reasonable sized business, as a lot of them are today, then you have outside professional management. How do you keep them motivated? How do they feel like they're part of the game? So there's a whole set of complexities in terms of having the right types of incentive systems, compensation systems, reward systems, recognition systems, to be certain you can recruit and retain top management people to work with the family. And if they think the family business is just going to be a, you know, a um, campsite for you know, future family members to hang out, you're not going to get top management to be part of that part of a company. They're going to want to grow the business and you know, really have a, an active business career. So you have to be very careful when you're sorting through how you structure the company and the roles of family members and the roles of the board and the family council and these various constituents, how that impacts your ability to recruit, retrain, and motivate top management. If you, if you look at the statistics, you know, businesses and family businesses don't make it very far. I think uh, the numbers are that 70% of the businesses from first generation don't make it to a second generation. So you're already down to 30% in the second generation. Third generation, about 10% are surviving. So there's a lot of factors that get, you know, that impact family businesses in a negative way that they are not surviving the way you'd like them to. And so those are the issues that we really get into uh, when we consult with family businesses.